Mexico. Wildlife is the heart of our planet. It's like the colorful strokes on the canvas of Earth. They add color, sound, and excitement to our world. Imagine a world without the roar of a lion, the song of a bird, or the leap of a dolphin. Without wildlife, our world would be a lackluster place. We need animals to keep nature working as it should. Each animal has a role to play, and their survival is important. Humans need to understand the importance of protecting our wildlife survival to coexist because our lives and our world depend on it. Now, please watch a video that we have prepared on animal survival. I am the living. I am the animal that runs next to you from your first step on this planet. I am part of a complex and sublime ecosystem. I belong to the earth, the forests, the oceans, and the sky. I am beautiful and mysterious. I am both the predator and the prey. Often in motion, nature is home to me. I like my loneliness, and I like being surrounded by my tribe. I am so many things at the same time. I am a bird singing and dancing with the clouds. I'm a leopard, faster than the wind. Elephant, a proud member of a herd. I am a tiger, alone, strong, smart, and beautiful. I am a whale, bigger than your imagination. I am a polar bear. My coat makes me invisible in the white desert. I am all species at the same time. I see, I listen, and I breathe. However, every day I disappear in silence. For your children, I become a memory. I am a voice you're not listening to, and very soon, I'll only be a legend. I am the living. Now, we will start our presentation with a few ayahs recited from the Holy Quran by Abid. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وما من دابة في الأرض ولا طائر يطير بجناحيه إلا أمم أمثالكم ما فرطنا في الكتاب من شيء ثم إلى ربهم يحشرون. On the day of judgment, Allah will restore the rights of every creature. including the animals. If we had violated the rights of an animal in this world, then Allah will take retribution on their behalf in the hereafter. Biomes are regions of the world with similar climate, weather, temperature, animals, and plants. Humans, animals, and plants in different biomes use different strategies for adaptation and survival. We, from grade 6, would like to present examples of animal adaptation and survival skills according to each biome, a rainforest, tundra, desert, and ocean. Welcome, adventurers, to the lush and vibrant world of the rainforest. Today, we're going to discover the incredible ways in which animals survive in this challenging environment. That's right, the rainforest is teeming with life and each animal has its own remarkable adaptations for survival in the rainforest. Hello everyone, I'm a Tukin and I love living in the rainforest canopy. My long curved beak helps me to grab delicious fruits to eat. My brightly colored feathers and strong wings allow me to glide effortlessly through the trees. And 
Before we forget our keen eyesight, we can spot tasty snacks from high above the forest floor. Greetings, fellow rainforest inhabitants. We three fox may be small, but we're masters of camouflage. Our distinctive, our distinctive long toes and powerful legs makes us skilled climbers and jumpers. It's the perfect way to stay out of harm's way. Roar! I'm the tiger, the king of the rainforest. With my sleek fur and powerful muscles, I'm a top predator here. This dense forest allows my striped fur to seamlessly blend with the jungle floor. I am a nocturnal hunter with excellent vision and extremely sensitive hearing capabilities, which makes it almost impossible for prey to escape. It's a tough life in the jungle, but I wouldn't have it any other way. Roar! Notice how I blend into my surroundings? My coloration and skin pattern aid me in my survival. My coolest adaptation is the ability to unhinge my jaw and consume my prey completely whole. Um, unlike most snakes, we tree pythons don't chase after our prey. Instead, we are ambush hunters. We use both sight and smell to detect the heat of a nearby animal. Behold, the largest creature in a dense grand forest. My long shots are dead to my habitat by reckoning my temperature to my large ears as calling fighters. My ears are made to pick up even the softest sound to be aware of danger. My sharp touch of many purpose for defense, moving object and getting through it. Wow, what incredible creatures from the colorful toucans to the agile tree frog and the mighty tigers. Each animal has its own unique adaptations for survival in the rainforest. Indeed, the rainforest is a treasure trove of biodiversity and it's up to us to protect this precious ecosystem for generations to come. Welcome adventurers to the icy wilderness of the tundra. Today, we embark on a journey to discover the incredible survival strategies of its inhabitants. Join me as we meet some of the most resilient creatures of the frozen north. Greeting, greetings, travelers. In this harsh land of perpetual frost, I am the cunning Arctic fox. To survive, I rely on my thick fur coat, which keeps me warm during the bitter cold nights. I am a skilled hunter stalking prey such as lemmings and voles across the snowy terrain. majestic snowy owl soaring high above the tundra. With my keen eyesight and my sharp talons, I hunt small mammals like rodents and ptarmigans. My soft feathers gives me the ability to fly in absolute silence. This helps me to become a very stealthy hunter under the cover of darkness. Adaptability is key in this frigid domain. I am a resident of the icy arctic. The caribou, also known as the reindeer, 
Ever wondered how I thrive in winter temperatures reaching 70 to 80 degrees below zero? Well, I am superbly adapted to cold, wind, and snow. My coat is thick with hollow hairs which provide outstanding insulation. My big broad hooves also work well as paddles when I swim across rivers and lakes. Do you have a mic? Good day, good day, friends. We are the emperor penguin, the flowers birds of the tundra. Our skin over millions of years, we have adapted to difficult conditions, and our tuxedo like feather pattern protects us on land by blending in our backs and our bellies with the sea and the sky. Roar! Behold the mighty polar bear, ruler of the frozen seas, and the largest land predator. I am a skilled swimmer, traversing vast distances in search of seals, my primary source of food. Patients and resilience are essential for survival in this unforgiving habitat. And there you have it, folks, the incredible tales of survival from the Tundra Dwellers. Despite the harsh conditions, these remarkable creatures have adapted and thrived in one of the Earth's most extreme environments. Join us again for more adventures in the wild. Assalamu alaikum everyone and welcome to our presentation on the desert biome. We are going to take you on a journey through one of the most fascinating and challenging ecosystems on earth. Deserts cover about one-fifth of the la earth's land surface and they come in various types such as hot and dry to cold desert. But this, despite this harsh condition, large than the desert biome showcases remarkable adaptation for survival. What adaptation at creatures driver? Join us as we embark on our journey to uncover the secrets of this harsh environment. Welcome fellow desert dwellers. We are the Phoenix Fox Trio and we are here to show how we survive in this harsh but beautiful desert. That's right. Despite the challenges, we Phoenix Fox have some incredible adaptations to help us thrive in this arid environment. Let's not forget our food. As omnivores, we Phantom Fox have a diverse diet. We scavenge for rodents and hunt small insects. We even munch on tasty desert plants. Finding food here isn't always easy, especially in this hot, scorching desert heat. That's why we are nocturnal animals. We do most of our hunting in the night when it's way cooler. And let's not forget our keen senses, hearing and smell. We can detect the slightest rustle in the sand or a scent of a nearby meal, even from a distance. Ah, but let's not forget our gigantic ears. These not only help us dissipate heat, but keep us warm. So you see, despite the challenge of living with desert, we Fanning Foxes are perfectly suited for this environment. With our resourcefulness, adaptability, and a little fox magic, we will continue to thrive in the sense of our home. Greetings, everyone. Allow me to introduce ourselves. We are the camel, the ultimate desert survivor. With our humps, storing fat reserves, we can go days without water, making us the perfect companion for long desert journeys. Our thick fur protects us from the intense sun, while broad padded feet helps us navigate through the sandy terrain with ease. And let's not forget about our remarkable ability to close our nostrils during sandstorms, keeping out pesky particles. In the desert, we're not just camels, but we're a symbol of endurance and adaptability. Hello, fellow desert dwellers. I'm Mika. This is my friend Milo. We're here to share a, st share a story of survival in the desert. Life in the desert is tough, but us meerkats have learned to adapt in some pretty clever ways. One of the most important things that we've learned is the power of teamwork. We live in underground burrows, and each member of our mob has a job to do. 
And speaking of safety, we have a lookout station at all times to watch out for predators. Adaptation is all about being flexible and resilient, even in the face of adversity. And with our meerkat spirit and our tight-knit community, there's nothing we can overcome. Behold, the diverse inhabitants of the desert, each with a unique adaptation for survival. Let it inspire us to respect, protect the fragile ecosystem, ensuring that the future generation can marvel at its beauty. As we conclude our journey through the desert biome, let's take with us the lessons of adaptation, perseverance, and the beauty of, di of, and the beauty of diversity. Thank you for joining us on this unforgettable expedition through the desert biome. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the mesmerizing depths of the ocean, where creatures both big and small navigate the waters to survive. Today, we present to you the remarkable tales of survival of three unique ocean inhabitants, the clownfish, the seahorse, and the shark. Hello, everyone. I am the clownfish, known for my vibrant color and playful nature. Did you know that I actually rely on the protection of the sea animals to survive? My special markers contain me to keep me safe from the stinging tentacles, and I live in a mutual relationship with them, provided that with full scrap in order to for the protections. Fascinating. Now let's dive deeper into the mysterious world of the seahorse. You guys enter. And I'm not getting Greetings, everyone. We seahorses may appear delicate, but we have some extraordinary survival skills. One of our unique abilities is camouflage. We can change colors to blend in with our surroundings, making it more difficult for predators to spot us. And did you know that it's the male seahorses who give birth? Talk about an unusual role reversal. And we have incredibly sharp eyesight, capable of working independently of each other. This allows us to spot prey and predators with great accuracy. Truly remarkable. Now, let's not forget the mighty shark, ruler of the ocean depths. Greetings, land dwellers. We sharks are the apex predators of the ocean. That's right. Our keen senses and powerful jaws make us formidable hunters. And did you know that we need to constantly move to stay alive? We must swim continuously to keep water flowing over our gills, allowing us to extract oxygen. Incredible! From the playful clownfish to the graceful seahorse and the mighty shark, each creature's unique adaptations enable them to thrive in the vast of the mysterious ocean. Now, let us continue to marvel at the wonders of the deep blue sea. Thank you for joining us on this unforgettable oceanic journey. Until next time, keep exploring and discovering the wonders of our natural world. Each animal is perfectly suited for its environment. This shows to incredible design by Allah in creating the environment and its inhabitants and giving them the ability to adapt and survive. Up. Bow.